What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. All right, I had to talk about this deck. This is Desmond Johnson's top four deck that he played at YCS Miami over the weekend. It's Karakuri OTK. This is interesting because I don't remember a Karakuri deck of this fashion being played since KMP, which was Karakuri Machine of Plants. That's when Lone Fire was at two and Glow Up Ball was still legal. And basically, the whole point of the deck was to summon multiple Barretos and then just throw, like OTK your opponent. You just had like two Barretos and a Stardust or like two Barretos and a Beret. And this deck is so reminiscent of that. All right, so. I'm not going to lie, some of these cards, this is my first time seeing them for the first time, but I did play that deck out of regionals, and I feel like I do have an understanding of what he was trying to do. Alright, let's go into the deck. Okay, so he has three Anishi, three Strategist, three Nanishi, two Soldier, one Quick, three Psychic Commander, three Solo Windjammer, three Desynchro, three Emergency Teleport, three Instant Fusion, two copies of Karakuri Anatomy, one Cash Cash, Monster Reborn, Pot of Avarice, MST, oh he has two of those, and Heavy Storm. For his traps he's got the Solemn Brigade and two copies of Royal Decree. So the first thing that I noticed was clearly Patrick Cobain was right on his ban list. Car Curry Anatomy is OP at two. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. That list was so fucking retarded. <laughs> so anyways, the first thing that I really noticed was Solar Windjammer. Full disclosure, I didn't even know of this card's existence until I saw this deck. Basically what this is, is it's a Cyber Dragon, except it's Machine. Here's what a lot of people don't realize about the Karakuri Synchros. It's just that the monster, the non-tuner has to be a machine. The tuner doesn't have to be a machine at all. So let's say, for instance, you have this card turn one, you're going first. You're looking to, you know, put a lot of pressure on the board. You just summon this guy. Maybe you emergency teleport for a psychic commander, make a Beretta, get something like strategist out, change it to, you know, from attack position to defense, draw a card, then summon something like Anishi, and it's like, okay, we're in business. Not only am I going to go plus with Anishi to where I can search something like a Karakuri Cash Cash, but I now can synchro into a Naturia Beast. So turn one, I've already got a Naturia Beast plus a Beredo. Next turn, Beredo can switch to defense. Let me draw another card. It's like I've got freaking pluses for days. This entire deck runs on complete synergy that like every card works with the next card. And this deck is all about not playing defense. This deck is all about basically how fast can I get to the OTK. You know, if you don't really know the OTK, it basically starts with, you know, you just getting one of these small these small tuner monsters like Strategish or Nanishi. And then you combine those with cards like, you know, uh, Instant Fusion or one of the other card curries like the level fours. And you just start rolling from there. You know, Beredo summons a monster. Beret summons a monster. And then you just start comboing out. When you throw Emergency Teleport into the mix, this is where things start getting nuts. Because, you know, you only have one target, but it doesn't really matter. Not only does this give you access to the Naturia grows which are very important because I'm not just talking about you know Naturia Beast but you have to remember Landois this guy runs 17 freaking spells that means if he's going for like an OTK and Landois is on the board you're not using Gorge you're not using Trago he has 17 spells he's going to have cards to pitch and from those Beretos that he summons, he's going to be drawing cards as he's going for his OTK. I really think that it was wise of Desmond to run some failsafe cards in this deck. Uh, cards like Royal Decree and Pot of Avarice. You have to think, when he really starts rolling with cards like Instant Fusion, Desynchro, and Emergency Teleport, he's going to be Synchro spamming at a mind-blowing rate. So, you know, if he runs into a card like Torrential Tribute that just wipes the board clean he needs to be able to replenish those resources or he needs to be able to be proactive about that and you know just nullify the effects of all traps a card like royal decree answers your set five log year it answers all your back row hate i mean it's just a really good card in general and again i feel like i cannot stop talking about Latoria uh, Naturia Landois, it's basically a contingency plan against a card like Maxi. We saw that at the center of YCS Miami. Like you look at Paul Cooper, you look at this deck, your opponent activates Maxi, you're synchro summoning, you're spamming the field with special summons like crazy, and they're drawing all these cards and they think that the Gores and Tragodia is going to save them when in actuality it's not because you know Latoria Landois just stops them from being able to activate those effects. He runs 17 spells, so there's no way in hell he's not going to have at least a couple in his hand, especially if he knows he's going for game, he's just going to hold on to his cards like Desynchro and just use those potentially for Landoy. So, this is a, a crazy deck, it's really interesting. It, again, it reminds me of the old KMP, 
pretty much has the same exact play style. It's definitely nice to see people playing cards where your opponent, uh, you know, doesn't even know what they do. Cards like Solar Wind Jam. I mean, I wouldn't know what the hell this guy was doing when he's desynchroing and activating things like, you know, emergency teleporting card. I'd be like, what is he doing? And then if he doesn't have the OTK, he can always go to lockdown with things like the Notoria synchros and just win games that way. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Check out my other videos if you enjoy my channel. And I'll talk to you later.